those amendments were made to, to make sure that there was clarity in terms of the bishop being accountable as well as annual conferences being accountable because uh, in the other plans uh, there were uh, issues that made the annual conference responsible for uh, the ordination process in terms of uh, what was required of an ordinand if, if that person was going to be ordained. And so a part of what, were, what was happening, we were trying to make sure that the way we've defined ourselves presently, because those are two big issues to us, those are the two biggest issues of us, that is the presenting issues that we believe flow out of Scripture, that is the nature of marriage and, and the ordination issue. So we were trying to perfect that so that there would not be constant trials and trials and trials. We do not want to do away with the trial process because we believe that everybody deserves a trial. But we needed to make uh, the issues so clear that there would not be uh, any question that you could ask as to whether a person had violated them or not. I think, and, and I think they think, uh, that the Judicial Council was was very thorough and fair, and uh, we, we should be happy that we have the kind of Judicial Council that we have. And I think it was a carelessness on, on the part of the, the way those were written, because they were making people accountable to people that uh, the discipline didn't make people accountable to. Uh, and that was the big issue, I think, in uh, most everything the Judicial Council said, that uh, unless the General Conference has said something, you can't hold people accountable to it. And, and some of those things the, the, the General Conference had not even seen.